Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Hand in Hand, a game about schoolgirls, haunted schools, and being stuck in the aforementioned haunted schools. Should probably close some windows. I think some birds got in this room. Yeah, never peaceful day, huh? In the principal's office of Monmoya Academy, there was a household altar where three wooden kokishi dolls were deified. The day that Monmoya Academy was established, a strict school regulation was set that, under no circumstances, is anyone to touch the wooden dolls upon the altar. Therefore, when the wooden dolls suddenly vanished one night, no one knew why. That would be the day I'll never forget. No matter where she goes, Shizune is an enigma. Contrary to school rules, she frequently smokes. There are persistent rumors amongst her classmates that she enjoys engaging in brawls. Her nickname is probably, uh, Lady Sasori. Lady Scorpion. Nothing better than hanging around at school late at night. Getting locked in. Terribly sorry. I gotta scream. That's Moya, anime girl. Behavior. The student council president of Momoyama Academy. She watched the rising number of school rules being broken over the past couple of years. Before deciding to make that her primary concern when running for student council president. See, this is what happens when you stay at school too late, everything gets locked, you get stuck, you can't find the key, people come out and try to kill you. Of course, you can always leave through a window. Then again, you might die to a pencil somehow. Also, before anything bad happens, a cat will come out. That's just obligatory. Ooh, blinking motion. Oh no, we're locked in. Trapped here like rats in a cat trap. Well, I'm old-fashioned, and I don't feel like calling people, so I don't have a cell phone. And the other person's antisocial and hates people, so she also doesn't have a cell phone. It's a match made in heaven. And don't call me Shirley.
the smarter thing to do is hide. Seems all schools are built on top of Indian burial ground equivalents. Well, the Eastern equivalent, anyway. I imagine with the amount of murders and various bad things that have gone on in the world, it'd be pretty hard not to be on some kind of land where something bad happened. A few million years ago, Krunk killed Krunk with rock. It was a very sad event. Then Wheel invented. It's all right, he went upstairs. The wooden dolls are gone. All three of the wooden dolls. Damn. My arms can't seem to break this contraption you call tape. Not oh, mandated to be useful. I feel like any proper spooky story horror fan or something should probably keep weird trinkets around, because at some point they'll they'll kind of get away from you and they'll cause something bad to happen, you know, like some evil spirit or they'll start walking and try to murder you, something like that. That's what I personally do anyway. I keep all sorts of weird trinkets around for that reason. You never know when you might want to change up your life a bit with some killer dolls or something. Or, you know, shadow men with knives. I'm the house of kick. Come on, Akari. Get together. And Shadow Men are weak to roundhouse kicks. Which actually makes sense from a logical standpoint. He gave up the chase pretty quickly.
You know, there's a bit of a problem here is that Akari, uh, I really can't stop seeing Ayumi there. Hello? We're trapped in a school with a madman, killer, doll thing? It's too bad these phone lines are always cut in these stories. Yeah, what a pain in the ass. Shizune has a pretty nice uh, character design, in my opinion. Really fashionable. Surprised Mr. Shadow Man isn't wandering around. Suppose he doesn't care too much. Oh, let's just go back to the faculty room then. This, I think it's this desk over here? No. There it is. Now we'll just check out their classrooms. Found some flyers, which we can use to cut that wire. One doll down. Now we get attacked by the ghost of the bathroom. I think being caught and possibly being killed would be a little bit more urgent than never being able to go back home. Just saying.
Gorturn is drawn to the altar. Be chased by a shadow man right out from the bathroom behind us. The key. This key is for classroom 2A. Which is conveniently right here. Small key. Tilney knife, which I believe has a weapon. Our accessories is a cigarettes. We got a school uniform, some sneakers, and a cross earring. Our friend here only has a school bag for a weapon. Not too useful. Ow, ow, you're killing me. You're killing me. Stop killing me! Whew, that was a little too close. Mmm, aroma beads. Cardboard box cutting open simulator. Huh, that should be an interesting game. Gimmicky one, but. These keys are always in such convenient places. Saying that the earring suits someone is the more tasteful, the answer is. I feel like being disrespectful, but at the same time kind of flirty, though. Yeah. Yeah, let's choose the dumb answer. Kawaii. <laughs> You know, I've been watching some Kill la Kill, and for some reason I can't stop seeing eyes in their uniforms now. We'll turn this draw real quick. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's go. Remave, receive. Simple enough. Got some nice flowers. Mmm, that's three boxes in a row cut open. New record. Score multiplier. Someone really took a lot of effort to seal these dolls up, didn't they? That sounds like a boss battle. This guy went to the Outlast School of Searching Lockers. He always- he will always search the one you were never in. Like, hmm. Maybe I should check this out for locker right here. Nah. Yeah, we shipped that. Right then, now we can go back to the principal's office. I hope you kids learned your lesson. Never stay after school. There's rules for a reason. And those rules are to protect you from horrible death. Have to fight through them. Good thing we're badasses. Hopefully, we don't get killed in the first shot. Okay. Come on, man, get to give her. I need my school bag. Oh no, we we kicked his ass. He's he's done. We Scooby Dooed him, as they say. Yeah, you get out of your old man, Wivers. The rumors about these dolls are true. That's why after we get out of here, we're gonna get some lawyers and sue the principal for keeping dangerous haunted objects in the vicinity of children. Meow. Oh, it's the cats. Can never trust them.
or actually, I'd like you. Whoops. Maybe Renegade Cop, and they play by all the rules, but together we make a buddy cop drama. The next day, Akari couldn't help but worry about what happened yesterday, and I had to check on the wooden Kokishi dolls in the principal's office. The principal then had the student council president swear not to tell anyone what he was about to tell her. Those three wooden dolls were actually a security system. Every day, the principal would take one of the wooden dolls home with him to ensure that the school would be on lockdown, so that no doors or windows could be opened. The wooden dolls were actually the keys to this security system. One could see from the TV monitor behind him if anyone was inside the school, and if the security system was running properly, but... On that day, the principal had important business matters to attend to, and forgot to grab one of the wooden dolls to take home with him. A cat, who happened to wander onto campus, moved the wooden dolls, and that triggered the security system, or so we thought. Early the next morning, a student came for club activities at the gym storage room. They unrolled one of the floor mats only to find a man bound inside. Upon this discovery, they tipped off the police. It turned out this entire story was really just Scooby-Doo. How he came to be wrapped inside a floor mat was a riddled in itself. He was barely conscious and frothing at the mouth. Since his encased silhouette bared resemblance to a wooden Kokushi doll, the students all thought it was the mark of their curse. That means, the man we thought was... Wooden doll curse or not, there are a lot of questions that need answers. Even if a cat did manage to knock off those wooden dolls, how do you explain the one tucked behind the bathroom stall, or the one hidden inside a locked classroom? or the one sealed inside a cardboard box, or even why keys suddenly fell from the household altar after returning them. 
Though there are many unsolved mysteries, they don't look back out of unpleasant memories. Then again.
So that's it for Hand in Hand. There's not much I can say about this game, since it's pretty straightforward, but I can say we should probably give it a hand. I suppose you should probably stop me before these puns get out of hand. Anyway, so a short little romantic game, a type of game that'd be good for Valentine's, although it is not Valentine's currently. Not quite scary, but kind of sweet and heartwarming. So anyway, that's it for me. So I'll leave you guys off before I give you any more hand puns, and I'll see you guys later.